hello again. Welcome all of you to our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat. I'm your host Daniel and today we have these two beautiful guests today and we'll be answering any questions that you might have. So if you guys have any questions while you're watching this, please feel free to send it to us here and I will send it to them and they will answer it for you live. All right, so let's get started. So guys, could you please tell us your names and yeah, let's start off with your names. Hey, just a simple introduction. I'm Eugene and then I'm the president of Isaac and Taylor's University. How about you? Hi everyone, my name is Philip and I am the Assistant Public Relations Director of Sky Adventure Club. I'm currently studying International Business and Marketing Year 2. And what are you studying? Oh, I'm currently a Year 3 student studying uh, Mass Communication and Media, majoring in Broadcasting. Alright, so these are our lovely students here, second year and third year, and they are here today because they are holding board of director positions in some of our clubs here in Taylor's. So that's what they're here for today and they'll be sharing us a little bit about their experiences and what these clubs do here in Taylor's. So you guys ready? Okay? Yeah, yeah. sure. Let's go. Alright, so could you please share with us your three favorite ways of spending your free time before we ease into the club stuff? I think I'll start first. Uh, for me, uh, I like to spend my free time like, first thing is I actually play the piano. So actually spend time with music like this and then second is very simple going for a jog a walk every morning and then also i like to take photos also yeah so i like to spend some time to edit photos like this oh, same yeah. <laughs> wow <laughs> okay how about you felix uh so my three ways of spending my time is first of all photography which is similar to his second oh. is i like to play badminton at oh. subang jaya hey same Nice. And then the third way is I like to do uh, rock climbing. Ah, all right. All right. So now that you know who our speakers are, let's go into the little nitty gritty bits. All right. So could you please tell us a little bit about what your club is and um, what does it do? So what's your club name and what does it does? Uh, yeah. uh, so actually, I'm representing Isaac. So Isaac is actually uh, the world's largest youth run organization. We are actually a non-profit organization that focuses on leadership development by giving practical experiences to youth nowadays to organize volunteering projects. So in short, we organize volunteering projects uh, and we develop the leadership uh, in them by giving them this practical experience. Wow. Yes. Yeah. How about Sky Adventure Club? Uh, so I'm representing Sky Adventure Club. So Sky Adventure Club is a uh, sports club but we mainly focus on adventurous activities such as paintball, rock climbing, rafting, kayaking, that kind of activity. Mm. Yeah. Alright, cool. So clearly shows that we have a variety of things here in Taylor. So if you're interested in leadership development or practical organi organizing things, then there's Isaac. I don't know if you're a little adventurous and wanna you know get down and dirty, then the Sky Adventure Club. Wow. Yeah. Alright, so guys the next question is what is your role uh, which you guys already mentioned, President and what was your role again? Uh, assistant Public Relations Director. Assistant Public Relations, all right. And what is it that you guys specifically do in those roles in your club? Okay, I think for me, uh, I'm the president. So basically it's leading the whole club. But just to uh, explain a little more deeper, actually inside our club, we actually have a lot of different departments specialized in doing a lot of stuff. For example, in order to organize the volunteer projects, we have project management team and to attract students to actually join this uh, volunteer program, we have our marketing team and then sales team, uh, partnership development team. So for me, uh, as the president, I'm mainly the person managing all these different departments. Yeah. Mm. How about you, Philip? Um, I am in charge of marketing and advertising the club ah. using the social media accounts such as the Instagram and the Facebook mm. and I also take photos during the Sky Adventure Club activities and events as well to promote the club to outsiders. Yeah, that's good. You're using your, your one of your favourite things to do. Yeah, that's why I really enjoy it. Oh, that's good. So that's really practical. Alright, so uh, oh, and as we go along, we may have questions from the audience, so uh -oh. please feel free and we'll uh, ask them live. Alright, so we actually have one question from the audience. Thank you so much. Thanks. Alright, so one question from the audience is uh, from Abby Chan, mm -hmm. and her question is, Hey guys, how long have you guys been in your respective clubs? Oh. I think for me, uh, I actually joined Isaac since I'm in degree year one, so now I'm year three, so technically it's two years already. Huh? How about you, Felix? I'm in the club since I was in foundation, so now I'm in year two, so it's also three years. Wow. This is my third year in Sky Adventure Club. That's a lot of dedication. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Joining since foundation, that's hardcore, man. 
All right, and, and you've clearly moved up the ranks yeah. since foundation. It's impressive. All right, so um, how often does your clubs actually meet? For us, actually, we have our own weekly meetings because, again, like we need to organize these projects. We need a lot of uh, time to plan out, so we actually have weekly meetings. And then at the same time, we also have our monthly hangouts like this. So if uh, anyone is interested in like having more engagement, then Isaac will definitely be one of the great choices. How about you, Vince? Um, Sky Adventure Club has meetings every Friday night, 6 to 8 p.m. And what we do is we have one hour talking about uh, the club, club, ac club activities mm. or any club matters and we play a bit of games as well. And then the last one hour is we actually work out at the sports complex. Wow, okay, yeah. nice. Alright, so for those of you who have just logged in, this is our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat. If you've just joined, no worries, you can uh, join us here and if you have any questions, we'll answer them for you live. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the next segment, which is actually going to dive a little bit deeper into your club specifically. So prepare to answer some club questions. Alright, so could you share us, could you walk us the journey of your club? Did you guys start it? I mean, probably not since you guys joined it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but could you share with us the journey of the club? What was it like when you first joined compared to how it is now? Do, do you see what, any kind of club journey that the club has undergone in these few years that you guys have been part of it? Could you guys share with us a little bit basically about the story of your clubs? And if you, and if you know the origin story of how it started, you could share that as well, aside, aside from your own personal experience. Huh? Actually, for Isaac, definitely I'm not the person starting the club. Uh, in fact, actually, Isaac in Taylor's University has been established like for 16 years already. Like it was established since 2004. So I joined in at 2018. So uh, at first, when I joined, actually I didn't know much about Isaac. It was just simply like my friend asked me to join. Like she told me, oh, it was fun. She was my senior, and then uh, I just joined. And then afterwards, when I joined in, then I realized, oh, actually Isaac is a very legit serious stuff that we talk about world issues and we really have the practical experience to solve the world issues so throughout the whole journey like what i mentioned just now i have two years experience until now already like uh, i remember during 2018 that time we managed to get like around 100 volunteers to join our projects throughout the whole year and 2019 i'm actually quite proud that uh, our club actually uh, improved and grew like uh, we managed to get over 150 volunteers to actually join our volunteer projects like this. So how about Sky Adventure Club? It kind of sounds quite interesting also. Yeah, well, Sky Adventure Club first started back in Taylor's College in SS15 by a business student named James, aka Jakun, which is his nickname in Sky Adventure Club. Oh. So in Sky Adventure Club, we have our own nicknames. Mm -hmm. So we don't call each other by our real names. Oh. So everyone has a unique name for them. Oh. So the journey for me in the club was, I didn't know what Sky Adventure Club was as well. My friend said, just join <laughs> and then you'll enjoy it. <laughs> then I was like, okay, since I have nothing to do as well, because like, you know, foundation, half, you're spending more than half the time outside campus. Mm. So I decided why not spend the time in Sky Adventure Club. Mm. So, and I really didn't regret it. Nah. It was very fun. Wow, I think that's quite impressive that you actually know the name of the person that started your club, <laughs> James. Wow, okay, cool. Well, James, if you're watching this, uh, are you proud to see your you know, successors now sharing your club on, on our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat? All right, so we actually have another question by Abby again. All right, so thank you, Abby. Um, her question is, um, oh, she says that you guys, it sounds like you guys have spent a lot of time in your club, you know, three years, two years. So is there any difference in terms of activities or is it quite the same throughout the years? Mm. So perhaps you could share a little bit about the type of activities that you guys have undergone throughout your years in the club. Has it been the same? Has it been different? How different? I think for Isaac, right, actually uh, every year, the core and the essence of the activities will still be the same because uh, we actually have our own goal is to strive for peace and fulfillment of humankind potential. And we establish uh, in the way by organizing these volunteering projects by tackling those world issues. So uh, the core and essence is the same. But then, of course, in terms of the details of the activities, uh, definitely every year it will be different like this. Like, yeah. mm. So how about Sky Adventure Club? Um, Sky Adventure Club is somewhat similar to Isaac, mm -hmm. where we still have our trainings, weekly trainings where we work out, do cardios. 
play games but every year we have we change it slightly a bit so that it keeps the variety going so that their members don't get bored as well oh, that's good i mean f- obviously for someone who's joined since foundation you clearly you didn't get bored lah you know yeah i'm not bored <laughs> 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 yeah exactly all right we actually have another question from the audience thank you guys so much once again this question is from noir no yeah noir i hope i'm pronouncing your name right noir um her question is is there anything is there any exciting activities that will be coming out soon Oh, okay. So if you guys have any planned out activities that you guys were meant to keep a secret, we're sorry to uh, bust you out here. But if you guys wanna, if you guys don't wanna keep it a secret, also can. But if you guys have anything that you guys would like to share to potential Taylor students, because our audiences are mainly you know people who are thinking of joining Taylors, mm. that's why they're in this digital open day live chat. So if you have any activities that you guys are planning out, is there anything you guys would like to share with them? I think for Isaac's side, actually, uh, every year we would have this uh, leadership conference called Malaysia Leadership Development Seminar, and it happens like every year around the end of July or start of August, like this. So that would be one opportunity for all the Isaac members. We call ourselves Isaacers to actually join and gain a lot of leadership experience and exposure, like this. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, Sky Adventure. Well, every year we have a signature event. And mm. the latest signature event was in 2018, where we held a amazing race themed event throughout KL. So we sent participants running all over KL to look for clues. Wow! And we have something upcoming. Stay tuned for that. Oh, stay tuned for stay that. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> wow! Nice, nice marketing. All right. So we're gonna be moving on to the next question. So, what is one special thing about your club that you guys personally love? So obviously, different clubs. Uh, are special in their own way, and different people have their own different reasons for loving it. But share with us what is your reason for loving a, anything specific about the club that you guys are a part of? That makes you guys probably the reason why you guys stayed for so long. Yeah, but it's, if it's not the reason, that's also fine, lah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice joke. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I think for me personally, one of the reasons why I'm like so committed and dedicated to Isaac is uh, again what I mentioned just now that you can really gain a lot of practical experiences that you don't normally get throughout your like classroom experience like this. Uh. So for example, as I mentioned, we organize volunteer projects, right? And then I also mentioned about marketing team. So actually, before becoming the president, I was actually uh, in the marketing team, and that time I was also a digital marketing like uh, executive like this. So to, in order to really attract enough volunteers to actually join our projects, we really, really need, need to uh, plan out our own like marketing plan and then also target uh, if we want to approach more students uh, in which channel or which funnel, what way we can actually uh, approach more students like this. So it really gave me a lot of uh, self-development and a lot of experiences. And yeah, again, like now as president, there are a lot of like uh, challenges and uncertainties. But these are the things that really attract me to want to stay inside this organization even more. Okay. Well, for me, I think the main reason I'm in the club for so long is mainly the people, uh. the members of the club, because they all they are also open and so welcoming and. There are so, it's just so many personalities mixed together, so I really enjoy it. Mm. And throughout, I've been to so many Sky Adventure Club events. We made memories there, and it's very hard to for me to let it go by just leaving the club like that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, seems like people are also one of the essence for us, like yeah. as club members and this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that what that's what makes all the clubs special in Taylor's is the people in in it. Okay, very true guys, very true. Good, good, that was really good. All right, so we actually have one more question. Um, this question, uh, Philip, uh, you've already sort of answered it, so if you can't answer it, that's fine, but okay. if you have any add-on, you can. Uh, okay. So for Eugene and Philip, yeah. uh, does your club run signature events? And uh, obviously, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and what happens actually at these signature events? So you guys can, can share, um, if, if it's a secret, you know, you guys don't have to share it, but you know, it's just a rough general idea. Yeah. I think it's definitely that uh, can be open to share. So besides the leadership development seminar that I mentioned just now, right? So that one is uh, nationally, not only uh, for Isaac and Taylor's member, but also Isaac in the whole Malaysia. But then in terms of the signature events that Isaac and Taylor's run ourselves, 
I would say it's an event called Global Village. So that event actually uh, happens every year in September. So we will actually gather all our volunteers together and then they would uh, actually like perform different cultural dances or like uh, expose different cultures like this. And then at the same time, because uh, we are having uh, like volunteers to help uh, the beneficiary, like uh, for example, one of our projects is called Like a Refugee Dream. So we actually invite these refugees to also share their own culture throughout this uh, event we call Global Village like this. So it's like very meaningful for us to really uh, organize this event for them because we can actually see how much impact we have delivered for both the refugees and then also the volunteers itself. And then at the same time, we get to expose to a lot of different cultures. Yeah, so this is one of the special thing of Isaac. But what is the special thing for Sky Adventure Club? Hmm. Uh, well, as I previously, ma previously mentioned, uh, we do run signature events. So how these signature events are run is before they were even started, we, we already we set a team to run the event like marketing, events, that kind. so we split them up and then they will make a proposal for the event and if everything goes well then it, go, it runs. Hmm, right, good. Yeah. So as I previously mentioned as well, um, the event is called Urban Pursuit 2018. You might have heard of it, it's where we let the participants run around KL uh, doing some special challenges along the way and the first to reach the finish line wins a cash prize. Wow, yeah. okay. That sounds attractive. Yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> Maybe you wish you want to join, right? If there's any uh, <laughs> <have> more time. <laughs> 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 Alright, so uh, thanks guys. For, thank you guys so much for answering those questions. We're actually going to move on to the next segment. But before that, if you have just logged in to this li uh, live chat, welcome to our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat where we talk about uh, all things Taylor's with our fellow Taylorians. So if you have any questions at all, any question about Taylor's, uh, what's it like, anything at all, even right now we have club board of directors here. So if you have any questions specifically about clubs, feel free to ask and we'll answer them live right in front of you. All right, so we're hoping for more questions from the audiences. Uh, Abby, I've noticed you've no I've noticed that you've you've sent more than one question, so I'm I'm hoping you'll send maybe a third one soon. Abby, I got my eye on you. Okay, so now moving on to the next segment, guys. We um, the next question is who actually should join your club? So for those of for the for uh, for the audiences who are potential Taylor students thinking about joining, what is one thing that you like to say that would help them decide whether they should join your club? Or yeah, who should join your club, basically? Mm. Okay, I think for Isaac mainly, uh, if you are one of these three audiences like this, like you sort of suit what I described later, then I would say uh, you should join Isaac, our club. Lah. So the first one is uh, definitely people who are interested in leadership development, mm. interested in gaining like real world practical experiences. I would say Isaac is one of the good platforms. And then the second kind of person that I would say is uh, the kind of person that should join Isaac is people who are passionate in tackling world issues, societal development like mm. this. You should join Isaac also. And then I think the last uh, type of person would be people who are interested in improving their CVs. So mm. because Isaac is a worldwide, uh, internationally recognized organization like this, so especially if you are business students, right, actually having Isaac experience, especially if you have Isaac leadership experience like this, you will actually enhance your CV a lot especially in the business world like this. Like, like it's uh, quite commonly recognized like this. So, so for Sky Adventure Club, how would it be? Well, um, we uh, look for people that are, you know, adventurous, outgoing, mm -hmm. not afraid to do anything. Is that, <laughs> does that sound right? No. Courageous. Okay. Courageous. Courageous. Yeah, sport, sporty as well. But as long as you have the willing to learn attitude and not afraid to make mistakes and learn from it, then I guess Sky Adventure Club would be a great place for you. And if you like event organizing, it's a good place for you as well. Oh, yeah. Alright, cool. So we actually have another question from the audience and guess who it's from? Abby! <laughs> thank you Abby so much. I see you've, you've listened to me. Alright, so thank you Abby so much for your third question. We really appreciate that. So let's see what Abby has to say. Abby asks, when can I sign up for these clubs? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, when, so, if they, so if they are actually interested, mm -hmm. when can they actually sign up for, for your club? 
Okay, so for Isaac Wise, uh, normally we open our recruitment drive during the start of the semester. So it's around uh, early April like this, like uh, first week or before first week during uh, the orientation week or during the uh, later semester which is September like this, like uh, end of August or early September. So these are the times that uh, you can actually like uh, register and also apply for the membership of our club. Lor. For Oscar Adventure? Um, it will be the same as Isaac. So mm. we have two recruitments each year. One is in April, end of March until April, and in August to September, around that period, mm -hmm. during the Club and Society's Day as well. Yeah, I think it's like quite the common time for all yeah. clubs together during the start of semester. Mm. Which is actually really good. So if you are actually considering of joining Taylor's, that's actually something you don't have to worry about because when you join Taylor's, you'll be part of the orientation and during the orientation process, we will have a day dedicated to just clubs and societies, which is the clubs and societies yeah. expo or you know, clubs and societies day. So if you are actually interested, just come by, come for orientation and just you know, look for these clubs uh, during, during the expo and then you'll be able to sign up for them. Yeah. All right, so we actually have another question from the audiences. Thank you guys so much. Thanks. All right, so this question is from Hakim. Ah, Hakim, so is joining multiple clubs allowed? I would say definitely so, right guys? Yeah, yeah definitely. As long as uh, you can manage your time well, right? Yeah, yeah. there's nothing impossible. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. He answered for me really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you can manage your time, joining multiple clubs is not a problem. Uh, as long as you, you, know, you can you know, commit and yeah. you know, be able to you know, do, do it, it's, it's not a problem. Oh, we have another question, and this time from Stanley Lim. So thank you, Stanley Lim, for giving us your question. For those of you who are also watching, please feel free to give any of your questions and we'll answer them live. All right, so Stanley asks, how does the process take if I were to sign up? So this is actually a really good question because actually my next question was actually, how does someone join your club and what's the process like? So Stanley, thank you so much for asking these three questions yeah. into one, which is basically, what is the process? of joining question, uh, joining uh, your club uh, and how, what's the process like? How do, how do you sign up? What's the process if I want to actually join? So uh, actually besides uh, registering for our membership during the CNS Expo, actually on our own Isaac and Taylor's University Facebook page, we will also launch the registration form like this. So after you sign up, then we will actually uh, invite you for a talk like this to understand more about Isaac. And then afterwards, uh, we'll go through an interview and screening process. Then uh, we'll let you know whether you fit the talent mm. that we are recruiting or not. Mm. So this is uh, more or less briefly what the uh, recruitment process looks like. So for Sky Adventure? Uh, well, Sky Adventure is a bit more complicated than that. Mm -hmm. But don't let that let you down. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So uh, first, we'll, have, we'll open a Google form on our Facebook and Instagram. After that, once you fill in the form, you will be invited to our adventure hunt. So we have three stages of recruitment. The first one is adventure hunt. The second one is the get to know session, which is basically something like an interview, but a more chill interview, just to get to know what your personality is like, and we want to know more about you as well. And the third is recruits activity. So once you pass all that three stages, you will become a member of the club. But before that, you will be as a recruit. Mm. Yeah. So that's what they call it. So it's like pre-member. And then member. Yeah, and then member. Okay, interesting. Actually, I would like to uh, have a quick uh, add-on to this. Yeah. Um, if you actually decide to join a club, and let's say you decide to go for the interview or go for the adventure hunt and all these things, and let's say you don't go, you don't pass and fail to go through, don't let that stop you from trying again, actually. All right, because it's all a learning process. You can always go again the next round and who knows, you might go in. Yeah. So just a little bit of fun fact over here. Um, the previous uh, vice president of marketing for Isaac and Taylor's a few years ago actually failed to enter the first time and then he joined the second time and then eventually he became vice president which is quite interesting yeah. and then for sky adventure um actually i've tried to join your club oh, and you. actually how I, did it go uh, i actually passed but then um i couldn't i i couldn't commit because of the timing schedule oh. so I actually i applied again and i yeah. passed the second time wow. but then the second time i also couldn't because of schedule problem oh, again no. so just because you do, are not able to pass don't yeah. let it stop you that's my two cents lah. all right so let's move on to the next question 
Ah, another question by Stanley is, is it possible to have a club tour or a club visit before I decide to join? So maybe not a club tour, but any preliminary way for him, for him or her to maybe see the club a little bit more before making the decision to actually join. Is there any way possible for your clubs? Mm, I mean, uh, definitely our club isn't like a place to actually visit. So a bit hard question, but I would say definitely uh, if you need a club introduction, you can always uh, mm. approach people like us, like uh, Isaacus like this. And then at the same time during the club and society day, we also have a person in charge of explaining what is Isaac all about. So how about Oscar? Yeah, question? it will be the same as Isaac, where mm. um, you can't really visit the club because it's kind of, it's a private mm. thing that's going on and outsiders are not allowed to visit so I would say just go for CNS, which is the Club and Societies Expo, and speak to one of us. You can speak to me. I can explain <laughs> more about it personally. Yeah. All right. All right. So guys, we've actually um, sadly have come towards the end of the session. So thank you guys so much. But we're not quite just done yet. We actually we're gonna have a final question. All right. Ready, guys? All right. So the final question is: What advice would you give to a new student or someone? thinking about joining tailors. So it doesn't have to be a club specific, but let's say they are watching and they're thinking, should I join tailors or not? What is one advice or one two cents that you would like to share with the audiences and maybe help them make an informed decision whether to join tailors or not? I think definitely uh, if you are deciding on whether to join tailors or any other uni, definitely is really understand what you want. And uh, definitely uh, like looking through digital open day like this is also one of the ways for you to really understand if tailors have the culture that you really uh, really want to expose inside of. And then let's say if you are already a new student, right, I would say uh, the advice would be to never stop trying because your uni life is really very short. Like maybe it's because I'm in year three already. Like yeah, like going through two years of university is really, really fast. So definitely don't be afraid to try more things. Mm. Don't pop it. Yeah, it will be somewhat similar, which is <laughs> Uh, don't be afraid to try new things, step out of your comfort zone. But why I chose Taylor's was because of the environment. Mm. Yeah, and then the club was, you know, a benefit mm -hmm. that Taylor's brought. And I really enjoyed all my club times, the times I spent with the club, because that's where all my memories were. Not, not in the classroom, but outside the classroom. Oh. So I would say, I even if Sky Adventure Club is not the club for you, there's always other clubs to join. So don't be afraid to try something. Maybe Sky Adventure Club is not your thing. You can always join Isaac or another club as well. Same thing. If Isaac doesn't suit you, you can try Sky Adventure also. Yeah, <laughs> or you can try both. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. For those of you who have just logged in, uh, welcome to our Taylor's Digital Open Day and for those of you who have stayed throughout, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we have sadly have come to the end of this segment but not to worry because our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat is still far from over. We will have another segment very soon. So just stay with us and we'll be back very shortly. Thank you guys so much, Eugene, Philip, for being our guest for our Digital Open Day live chat. We really appreciate you guys sharing your insights. Alright, thank you and we'll see you soon. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, thank Daniel and thanks for all the audience also. Oh. Thank you. Bye. All right, thank you. Thank you guys. See you soon.